Hello, you guys. So, we are back in Germany, as you can tell. <laughs> um, and for those of you guys who have been with me for a while, you know that this is the apartment I was in the last time I was in Germany. But, anyway. Um, so, I just finished watching the stand-up comedy by Jinx Monsoon. For those of you guys who don't know who that is, that is a guy that was on RuPaul's Drag Race, I don't know how long ago, several seasons ago, I would assume, because I have stopped watching Drag Race and supporting drag queens in general, um, having done more of a personal deep dive in the whole trans issue, men claiming they are women uh, thing, I for myself have decided that I no longer want to support drag. Um, if in 2023 we say that it is wrong for white people to dress or act or put on black makeup and that is considered blackface, then, in my opinion, drag is a form of woman face, and I don't want to support that. However, uh, point out some of my own hypocrisy. Um, I did enjoy Jinx Monsoon whenever he was on Drag Race, and I did think that he was a very funny comedian. So the other day I was like looking at like um, a streaming website and I saw that he had a stand-up comedy and I was like, oh yeah, it's, when I get around to it, I want to watch it. And anyway, uh, having just finished it, I... I am once again really uh, confronted with the fact that I feel like if that's what it means to be gay, then I must not be gay. I found the vast majority of the humor very vulgar, very tacky, um, showing a complete lack of any self-dignity. Um, one of the, I think, very common topics when it comes to anything within the gay male space is sex and kinks and, you know, and I've already told you guys how I feel about that. I don't, I don't actually think there's anything wrong with being promiscuous per se i don't think there is anything wrong with enjoying sex per se i don't think there's anything wrong with casual sex per se what i always have had an issue with is when people show a lack of dignity and self-respect when it comes to these topics you can go out if you, in my opinion, because I told you I don't believe in open relationships. I don't believe in all that polyamory stuff. I don't believe in that. Um, to me, you're either monogamous or you're not in a relationship. That's just me. <laughs> if you're going to come to me and you're going to be like, I'm in a relationship, but but we're open, I'm going to be like, you're not in a relationship. Sorry if that offends any of you, but I don't care. <laughs> like A relationship is monogamous, period. But if you're single go ahead, sleep with as many people as you want. Um, but, I don't know, so like, two of the jokes that I felt really were really off-putting to me was Jinx Monsoon, one of the things that he was saying was like, I don't identify as gay, I identify as queer. Um, a gay man is somebody who's like, I like to suck dick. A queer man is somebody who's like, I'm just a big hole. And besides the fact that he said that, thinking that was funny, that was something that you should say out loud, 
like the audience went crazy for it. Like people were like, ha 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 ha, yeah, yeah, slay sister, slay sister. And I'm like, the fact that you think of yourself, that you carry so little dignity towards yourself. And this is not against like people enjoying being bottom or whatever, but to to literally go out there and tell people that all I am is a hole, a hole to be used. That is, I don't care if you're a bottom or if you're a woman who like naturally's role is to be a bottom. I don't know how else to say that. If you really think of yourself as just a walking hole, I'm sorry, there's got to be something wrong with you mentally. That is not something to be proud of. That is not something to brag. That to me is, it's just so, it was so off putting. It was so gross. And I was kind of like, is this supposed to be funny? Am I, as a gay man, supposed to laugh at this and support this and think, like, yeah, you, wow, you, you go, you go, you, you, you show them, you know, like, uh, ew, ew, it was just nasty. And then, like, the other joke was he was talking about, how at one point in time he was dating somebody in college and the guy was effing him and the condom came off inside of him. And he built a whole skit around this joke and he was just kind of like, he was like, I can't believe, and then yeah, the, the condom got stuck inside of me and... I was kind of thinking like, oh my God, that guy left his trash inside of me. How could he leave his trash inside of me? And then when I asked him, what do you think has happened? He was like, well, maybe you're just too tight. And how dare he put it on me? He did that to me. And I was like, wait, first, okay, first of all, I'm like, I can't believe you're on stage and you're telling this incredibly vulgar story thinking it's humor, and all these people are, like, clapping and laughing at it. I was like, this is, like, to me, there's nothing funny about this. But I'm also like, you basically, in the story, admitted how you begged this guy to F you, and then he did, and then you got upset with him because the condom came off inside of you. I... I I don't even know how to feel right now. I, I'm so personally disgusted and embarrassed with this person. I, I'm like, man, I really... I actually thought Jinx Monsoon was so funny on RuPaul's Drag Race. I, I have to say I'm actually literally shocked. I was thinking... I admit, like, I was thinking there would be much more wholesome humor, which that's probably on me because drag queens are known for very vulgar humor in general. But him not presenting himself like that on RuPaul's Drag Race, I wasn't expecting it to be this vulgar and tacky. But, like I said, part of me was also the audience really clapping and laughing and like acting like it's so funny and cool and liberal and progressive to be a whore and we're whores yay all of us gay men are whores and sluts because he's like yeah and i uh, in, embrace your inner slut like yeah yeah we're all sluts and whores that we're all just big holes for anybody anybody could just stick it in us <laughs> I'm, uh, it 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 uh, it makes me really confused. Am I the only gay man out there in the world who has a sense of dignity and self-respect? Again, I don't I I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with enjoying sex, enjoying enjoying casual sex at times. But to me it's like and I've had casual sex. It's not like I'm this person who's never had casual sex and I'm just above everything and all this kind of stuff. And I would never, ever, ever spread my legs for anybody unless I was married. Like, I'm not, like, completely chaste, but I don't feel the need to brag about it. I don't feel the need to go around and be like, oh, my God. So, yeah, I met this guy and, uh, 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 and we just had sex and we, like, we flip-flopped and backdropped and kinked this and this kink and all this kind of stuff. And, oh, my God, am I not so cool? Am I not so funny? I'm, I'm a progressive gay guy. I, to me, it's like, yes, I've done these things and I'm not going to deny that that I've experienced sexual pleasure and that I've been with men and, you know, but 
there's still a way that you can go through life with just a little bit of self-respect and dignity. And that's not it. Um, I don't know if any of you guys were around a few years ago. Also, I made like a... Because this is, this is very common comedy for people who create comedy content for... I would say predominantly gay men. Um, Margaret Cho, uh, yeah, Jinx Monsoon, the person I was really thinking of right now. Ugh, what's that redhead's redheaded woman's name? She's really skinny. Kathy Griffin, Kathy Griffith. She once like she also like she caters the gay men in her humor, and she I, I made a video about this years ago. She made like some skit about how she was hired to be on like a gay cruise and she was like man gay men are so sophisticated and they're so smart like on the gay cruise like the gay men they would just put like whiteboards outside their door and they would just write down like uh, like time slots like looking to get fucked from 11 to 12 looking to suck six a black man's dick from one to three, and then looking to get double plowed and triple plowed at seven p.m. Please put your name if you're if you're interested and your cabin number. And and, and like and again, it was like all these people in the audience because you know they always tape these things live. We're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gay. We're so cool. We're so progressive. Yeah, good for us. And I'm just and I I I and no part of me, no part of me can associate. With that whatsoever, I, it, it, I, these things so make me always question: like, am I really gay? Am I really gay? Because this is this does not speak for me at all. She made that joke probably like ten years ago or something when I even talked about this on my channel, and I was like, to me, all this makes me do is feel shame. I feel ashamed. I feel ashamed to call myself a gay man if that is what society associates with us and even more so if that's what the community is proud of presenting and thinks this is like something worthy of comedy and laughter and support and it's disgusting it's so i i feel so i don't like secondary shame is that something you say in english i feel secondary shame for jinx monsoon like, how damaged are you as a person to have to go on stage in public and tell these kind of stories? Uh, eh. It's just, I, I'm so, I'm so... You know, my friend Jess was just here. This I feel like there's a weird echo in here. I'm sorry. Um, my friend Jess was just here. You got, some of you guys might know her. Like we were teachers together in Japan, so you guys might have seen her in some videos there. Maybe in some videos in Mexico, but I don't really put my friends in my videos anymore since I've started having unpopular opinions because I don't want them to get you know negative feedback or whatever because they're guilty by association because i have unpopular opinions anyway her and i were kind of talking a lot while she was here because she's single and i'm single and we were talking about how it's very difficult to meet somebody who is nice and she was kind of saying what makes it difficult to be a single woman and find somebody nice and I was talking about, like, some of the aspects that I think make it very difficult about being a gay man and finding somebody nice. And when I say somebody nice, I was like, I, I was telling her, I'm like, you know, first of all, I'd like to think, sorry if this sounds very arrogant, that I bring a lot to the table. You know, I am well-traveled. I am well-read. I do have a good set of education and work experience. Um... I make a point of trying to be intelligent in my thought and in my actions to show dignity and integrity in who I am, you know, and I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna lie, like I would like to meet somebody who is on my level, you know. Uh then and that's already gonna 
click down on your box. I'm not this like again, I'm sorry if that sounds really arrogant, but you know, you know, if you're going, okay, here's the pool of gay men in the world, and then you're like, well, they at least have to have some kind of educational background. Well, boop. Okay, well, now they should also not live at home and have a job. Boop. And they should also maybe know a little something about the world and history and be, you know, have a bit of general knowledge. Boop. Right. And then, of course, part of being gay, there does have to be sexual compatibility. Boop. Um, then, then they have to follow, to some degree, my ethical and my belief in integrity. So, boop. And then it's like, well, I'm only going to date a guy who is into monogamy. Boop. Then I want somebody who probably nowadays would be considered conservative. And then, well, that really, like, narrows it down. Like, beep. You know. And I know for a fact, like, I was looking, like, while this was happening, I was kind of looking at the people in the audience. And I was like, how how am I, as a conservative gay man, who actually has a certain sense of dignity and self-respect and hard work ethic and doesn't think of myself as a continuous victim in society, especially in the Western world. How am I supposed to navigate gay dating? I, I, I don't see myself having anything in common with like anybody in that audience. If you're laughing at a joke about, about, gay man like just i'm just a big hole i'm just a hole i'm not even a human i'm a hole for any dick to just come inside of me and you're sitting there and you're laughing and you're cheering it on everybody in that audience already was already not in my in my dating pool right I think I'm just really tired of this idea of a lot of that. And I mean, this is something I mentioned on my channel so many times. I think gay people have been really fed a lie in terms of what our own community tells us shows that we are more progressive and more open minded and more, you know, like, but all of these things are so damaging to you in the long run as a person like if you really think of yourself as just a walking hole or you think it's funny to tell people like oh my god last weekend i was at an orgy with 17 other people and oh my god guess what we all forgot about the condoms <laughs> but we're all on prep because you know whatever and <laughs> and then and then i went down on my knees and somebody in a dirty public toilet and he like jizzed all over my face <laughs> i have herpes now but whatever <laughs> i'm so open-minded like the, the, the there is so much psychological damage and like such a lack of self-respect and dignity within my community that I find so sad and off-putting and tiresome, honestly. And the brainwashing, it just goes so deep. You can't even talk with some most gay people in the community anymore because they have so internalized this idea that were thinking of themselves as just a piece of meat and just a complete and not worthy of love and dignity and respect. You know, they will go on the barricades when conservatives and straight people and the society abroad, you know, they're kind of like, they need to respect us. They need to, they need to give us the pronouns we want. They need to give us the job opportunities that we want. They need to respect our marriages and all this kind of stuff. But it's like, where is your self-respect? Maybe work, maybe work more on your self-respect. Maybe work a little bit more on your own personal dignity and your own personal idea of what it is that you want to portray and be and worry a little bit less what everybody else thinks outside of the community. Because you know what? I don't think the community at large needs to respect us for being 
walking, talking cliches and whores and sluts and just being proud of it and being completely shallow and vulgar and tacky. That is not something people on the broad spectrum should support or help us with getting even more so. And I would even argue that because society actually has become more open-minded to it, all these gay people now feel comfortable doing this kind of crap because we don't shame them anymore. I'm like, bring back some shame. Bring back some shame. God above. Hallelujah if we could bring some back some shame. Because you should be ashamed of stuff like that. There's nothing proud about having giving some guy a blowjob in a glory hole in an airport bathroom. There's nothing proud of that. Like, the, the, the... oh my God, oh my God, I just don't understand. I just don't understand gay men. I don't understand, like, I, I don't understand. I, I, like, you know, there's a saying where it's like, God doesn't put anything on you that you can't handle. And I don't even feel like... <laughs> The, the 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 task that God has put on me in terms of like let's see how he handles that is the being gay in terms of just being gay itself I think the task that God has put upon me that I think is the most difficult is being gay because I have to be a part of this community of these really narcissistic vulgar tacky self-indulgent people who value and celebrate the most base aspect of their personalities. I really, I, I can't, I mean, it's 2023 and I feel like we're more and more, the youth more and more, everybody more and more is pushing towards, you know, because everybody's queer now and everybody's non-conforming and all this kind of crap. And here I am in 2023, and I still think, God, I wish I was, I so wish I was straight. I wish so much I was straight. Because only if I was straight, like my friend Jess and I have talked about, if I was straight, I would probably be dating Jess. And, you know, I definitely feel like I would 100% be a happier person. Just not having to be associated by default with people like this and this kind of mentality like that it just i'm sorry it disgusts me it disgusts me i these this disgusts me in and then people are like yeah there's some internalized homophobia i'm like well if that's what it means to be gay then yes i would have to admit there's some internalized homophobia because to me it is disgusting it is absolutely disgusting if you have so little self-respect and dignity that this is the way you conduct yourself. Not even in private, but in public. <sighs> anyway. Did any of you guys see the... Uh, the Jinx Monsoon stand-up special? If you did, what did you think? Um... Did you think it was funny? If not, or yes, uh, what's your thoughts on, I don't know, whatever.